Ta-da! The Parrot Clip, which is... Um, I, I've never actually used one. I've heard a lot about them. They're like a, a new... Well, not new. I think they're... I don't know. Probably maybe a decade old now. I've been hearing about them forever. And um, they're Parrot Clips. They're um, designed to be like a modern... Um, a dual sort of clip that's a hooky type thing, hence parrot. You know, parrots have hooked beaks or something, don't they? Um, and whoa, look at a whole box full of them. Let's check them out. So thank you very much, Filipesco, for sending in all these parrot clips. Take a look at the collection here. And, well, let's take a look at what parrot clips are. There's three different uh, types, PCX, PCM, and PCS. And they're basically, look, it looks like a parrot. It's got a little hook on it and yeah it's just another way to hook on to um in, in this case like they can come in different uh sizes down to one 1.5 millimeters there for uh to small terminals and things like that but i think they do show like ic um pins and stuff like that so we'll try that out so i think we've got various uh sizes here so let's take a closer look at them they're just an alternative to your easy hook that you're used to or a cr uh, crocodile or alligator clip. in the end then we've got standard right angle uh four millimeter shrouded ones for your banana plug we've got ones with just the um open uh clip like that so you can clip those around uh test posts and things like that and uh, yeah more multimeter type probes it looks like these are just uh, uh, free floating uh, like to adjust the connectors uh, themselves so that you can hook on your own wire and here's the difference between the biggest one the W4 one here and the W1 little one millimeter thing it's tiny the one millimeter ones actually square on the end it's not re almost square it's not really uh, sort of hooked like that one but uh, it's still going to work a treat I think so if I get this breadboard wire here and just whack that in there like that that's having a hard time getting out of that even without a decent hook on there so yeah I think these even these tiny ones work really well I don't mind that at all but if you compare the parrot clip to one of these tiny little easy hooks here which sort of get in there and can grab the wire like that I think yeah the oh no they're probably on par in terms of strength I suspect but that totally depends on the type of easy hook here we go I've got another one this is just a cheap one that comes with uh, logic probes typically comes with logic probes and I I think these ones are the easy hooks are ultimately got a much smaller area so if you're going to grab ic pins and things like that there's just less metal to short out there we go i think they're just physically smaller these easy hooks so if i was doing ic pins i think i'd rather have the easy hook but the problem with uh, easy hooks is that they don't come with like nice attachments that you can then uh, you know go and plug into your multimeter whereas this comes with all sorts of you know we've got the piggyback style banana plugs we've got the shrouded ones here and uh, we've got these um, uh, binding post uh, clips and you know I yeah I mean these are just bigger sort of like uh, more robust and if you have a look at these ones check out the uh, finger guards on these so if you're probing like you know decent voltage stuff then you know you don't want to be dicking around with like an alligator clip or or something like that these are much safer and they come with really nice silicone leads as well ah oh, these are just beautifully flexible just like proper multimeter leads awesome they got uh, yeah they're suitably rated no problems at all underwriters laboratory so yeah that's 10 amp cat 3 600 volts so yeah i really like these and i think these parrot clips are a good solution for you know just get your fingers in there like that and just bam and it's got a decent hook on the end of it i think they're really uh, like actually that one is different to what we saw before look that one's got more of a hook on it than this one like the smaller one there it's uh it's not quite as hooked as much anyway they do grip fairly well quite innovative and i'd rather use these than uh, alligator clips any day of the week very nice well i'll tell you what i really wouldn't want to use these to probe 
IC pins, it just it just doesn't work. Completely wrong tool for the job. Look, it can easily short out to the one next to it. Whereas with your easy hook, look at that, no problems whatsoever. So yeah, I think it's a bit rich to show that, like, you know, <laughs> through hole ICs on here. Granted, it does not show you it actually hooking into an IC uh, pin on here. This is what they're for, for hooking onto wires and other, you know, maybe through hole resistors and, you know, other large components, things like that. But I do rather like these. These will be a nice addition to the lab here and probably everyone should have a set, I suspect, just... You know, just really quite nice uh, uh, hook probes. You know, better than the big-ass alligator clips anyway for high-voltage stuff and, you know, any sort of reasonable size, that's for sure. And there is a lot of spring tension force on here. I can't obviously... Uh, this is not philo vision, but there is a lot of force actually holding these back. So I expect to get really good contact on uh, wires and be fairly low resistance and fairly reliable contact and of course you've got metal on metal contact as well and I think ultimately what they are trying to uh, show here with this PCB is that this metal this pointed metal tip on here can actually be used as a probe to get in there and probe pins well yeah okay but then so can your usual multimeter probe so thank you very much Filipescu for sending in all these parrot clips these will uh, come in handy no doubt but yep for big stuff not for tiny little pcb stuff